Okay, let's see what we can do. My uh, handwriting is not going to be good because I'm writing with a, a laptop uh, trackpad. But say you have a factored polynomial, a, a totally factored polynomial, like just, just making something up here. What's the leading term of this polynomial going to be? It's going to be this number up front, and then we'll count how many x's we have. So we have three x's. So, I mean, this number may be here. Let me change this, change this polynomial so we don't have three appearing twice. Let's add another term. So now we have this three up here, and we have four x's. And that's how you get the leading term of a factored polynomial. So let's go back to the problem. What do we want the leading term to be? We want the leading term to be negative 2x cubed. So, following this pattern, we're going to want a negative 2 in front, just like this 3 gave us 3x to the 4th. We'll need a negative 2 to get this negative 2x cubed. And then if we want an x cubed, we're going to need three x terms. So, right, this x to the fourth came from having four x terms. So if we want an x cubed, we're going to need three x terms. So we're looking for something like this. And what, else, what other information are we given? We're given some information about the roots. We're told that zero is a root and that it has multiplicity two. Let's uh, jot that down. Zero is a root, and it has multiplicity two. So going back to what we know about polynomials, I, I mean, I don't, 
I guess I don't really know what uh, you've learned so far, but um, when we have this factored polynomial, it's x minus the root. So 3 is our root here in this example. Negative 2 is our root x plus 2 is x minus negative 2. 1 is our root. And 4 is our root. So if we want 0 to be our root, we should have an x minus 0. And the multiplicity says if we have a multiplicity other than one, that's telling us that we should have this x minus zero more than once. So if the multiplicity is two, uh, sorry, if the multiplicity is two, we should have an x minus zero twice. Like again, going back to here, what if I change this so that instead of x plus two, we had x minus one. Well, now you see this one, we're getting this root one twice. We're getting it from here, and we're getting it from here. So in this example, this one has a multiplicity of two. And just like this, that here, we're getting zero from this first term. We're getting zero from that second term. So we're getting zero twice, and we have a multiplicity to just what we want. So as far as this third term, it really doesn't matter what you put here. I mean, there's only, if you put a zero here, that would break things. Because if you put a zero there, now zero is appearing three times, and you have a multiplicity three. But if you put anything else, there, like, what if four there? Mm. Well, now we have a root of four. Um, that's fine. What did we want? We wanted a root of zero with multiplicity two. We wanted a leading term of negative two x cubed. We have both those things. So we also have a root of four, which is fine. The uh, the problem didn't say we shouldn't have a root of four. It didn't say anything about this other root. It just said that this root here needed to appear twice. If instead of minus four, we had plus three, again, that's, that's perfectly fine. It's giving us this other root. Now we have negative three as our root, but we still have the right leading term. Negative 2 times x times x times x is negative 2x cubed. 
and we still have this route to zero appearing twice to give us this multiplicity. So, I mean, maybe that was some of some of the problem you were having. I think we're used to math problems only having one answer, and that's not true here. This problem has a bunch of answers because, because you can put pretty much whatever you want um, in place of... Okay, well, my uh, my whiteboard has stopped working, but you can put pretty much whatever you want in place of this plus three, as long as you have these terms. Um, if if you have any other questions, I'm just, I I mean, I can't always promise to get back to you on the same day, but I'm happy to. To do this, just uh, shoot me another email like you did this one.